We're hours away from Super Tuesday. The Democratic candidate com competition getting smaller. Just within the past 24 hours, we've seen two candidates and their campaigns. Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar ending their bids for the White House. Both are now choosing to put their support behind Joe Biden. Also still in the race, former mayor Mike Bloomberg, Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Elizabeth Warren and Tulsi Gabbard. Meanwhile, President Trump is drumming up some more support, all while slamming the former candidates. He was in Charlotte this evening. Yeah, from names like Sleepy Joe and intentionally mispronouncing Pete Buttigieg's name, uh, President Trump mocked all the Democratic candidates with an enthusiastic crowd standing right behind him. It's being rigged against Crazy Bernie. Crazy Bernie's going to go crazy, crazy. I think Crazy Bernie's going to be more crazy when they see what they're doing. I called it a long time ago. Polls open in nine hours. Our Commitment 2020 coverage, we've talked extensively about the GOP Senate race, but there are other things you'll decide tomorrow as well, including Amendment 1. If it's passed, the constitutional amendment would do away with the elected school board and establish an appointed state education commission. Those members will be appointed by the governor and approved by the state Senate. Also on the ballot tomorrow, we are one of 14 states taking part in Super Tuesday. If you're a Democrat, your vote could be crucial to deciding the party's nominee. Here's why. Each Democrat is trying to get to the magic number of 1,991 delegates to win the nomination. Tomorrow, more than 1,300 delegates are up for grabs, more than a third of the total delegate count. 52 of those delegates are right here in Alabama. It's not a huge chunk like California or Texas, but still a prize for any candidate who qualifies to get some of those delegates. And after those are awarded, we could get a better idea of where the Democratic primary is headed. They want to see a moderate Democrat have a chance as the nominee, then we'll probably see some people drop out. Hope that some of their delegates will go to that moderate Democrat. Um, so, uh, so I think there's a very good chance after Tuesday we see this even more set up as um, a mainstream Democrat versus someone who's a Democratic Socialist. You'll also vote for who will be a delegate to your party's national convention. Those are the men and women who officially cast the state's delegates at their respective party's conventions this summer. And Republicans will decide on the Senate primary race. These seven have spent months crisscrossing the state in a race that's gained national attention. Former Attorney General Jeff Sessions fighting for his old Senate seat against several others, including the 2017 GOP Senate nominee, Judge Roy Moore. Moore lost in that special election to Doug Jones. Former Auburn coach Tommy Tuberville, Congressman Bradley Christmas Byrne, time. businessman Stanley Adair, State Representative Arnold Mooney, and children, political newcomer Foundation. Ruth Page Nelson are also on the ballot. Turnout is crucial to any race. According to the Secretary of State's office during the state's last presidential primary in 2016, voter turnout was just over 41 percent. But there was no incumbent in the White House, so both parties were in a nomination fight. Voter turnout was also right around 41 percent for the special election in 2017 between Judge Moore and now Senator Jones. The Senate race is the big one to watch. What happens if no one GOP, no one GOP candidate gets over the 50 percent needed to win the nomination? Then we're looking at a runoff and with seven candidates, several of which have big name recognition, experts say it's likely we'll see a runoff between the top two. So if that happens, GOP voters will head back to the polls at the end of the month. And we're keeping a close eye on the Senate campaigns here in Alabama. Tonight we checked in with former coach Tommy Tuberville, one of the several candidates hoping to replace Senator Doug Jones on that Republican ticket. He was in Vestavia Hills. Coach Tuberville is optimistic the people of Alabama will support him at the ballot box. I want to give the people of Alabama a voice and not go up and listen to special interest. I took all my money from the state and uh, I tell you, it's, it's been great to know that people in this state have backed me so much to the point that we got a real good opportunity to win this thing. Also drumming up some last minute support, Representative Bradley Byrne. We caught up with him as he thanked supporters while saying he understands what Alabamians need. Well, it's, it's clear to me, the people of Alabama are looking for a conservative fighter. Someone with a real track record, doesn't just talk about it. Uh, I vote for President Trump 97% of the time. I was one of the 12 or so members of the House that he invited to the celebration of the end of impeachment and then publicly, national television, thanked me for the work that I did for him. People are looking for somebody that's going to do that. 
Last week, we caught up with former Senator Jeff Sessions. Be sure to stay up to date on all your political news with the WVTM 13 app. Our commitment stories are under the politics tab.